Sonia knows better. Uh, number four in there, nice little price coming home. Uh, CJ McMahon, another win. He's been riding great. Jonah Fusile, uh, the trainer for the number four. My pick, almost second. I wouldn't call that almost, Ed. Did you watch the end? They were just staggering <laughs> home. Uh, we, were, we weren't really uh, menacing there at the end. Joined by Ed More DeRosa. More only there behind the winner. Yeah. Ed DeRosa, Horse Racing Nation, in town because we've got a big stake. Fairground Stakes, presented by Horse yeah. Racing Nation. Happy to we present appreciate. that stakes. Yeah. Appreciate you having you here. We've also got some fair odds from you. Let's take a look at that um, here for the Risen. No, sorry, for the Fairground Stakes, right? This is it. Yeah, race, this is yeah. Fa fair odds. First, give us a real quick, what is, a, what is fair odds, Ed? So because of takeout, when you add up all the odds on the board, it actually is uh, a, bad, a bad line because the track takes its money out. So the odds don't add up to 100%. But with fair odds, these do add up to 100%. So if you flip a coin, fair odds would be 50-50. These are 12 horses. They're on not all the equal chance, so we give them what chance I think they have to win. And in this case, Beatbox, I think, wins this race 20% of the time. So four to one would be fair odds. If he's higher, he's worth a bet. If he's lower, he's not. So you have this in mind as you're watching the, the market, right, seeing where the money goes, and then you make your play based off of the value you're getting. Absolutely. You know, what you and I do, what Joe does, what a lot of horse players do, we're looking at the races in advance. We have an idea of the horses we like, but if everyone else likes the horses we like too, that doesn't necessarily mean they're a good bet. So fair odds sort of takes it to that next step of what price would I actually be excited to bet these horses? And for me, beatbox four to one, but I got to tell you, he's 12 to one on the morning line. I'm excited about Harlan Estate. I think he's going to be the play for yeah, me. Yeah, you're going to get a price. You're going to get more than six to one on that. What about Rachel Alexander? Let's take a look at these fair odds here. Well, I know uh, that Marcus Hirsch said he'd eat his hat if VV's dream is the favorite, and I hope he is absolutely right. I do not want Marcus to eat his hat because I love VV's dream in this spot, and I don't think she'll be favored. So I agree with Marcus, but I think I'm going to get the right price. I have her at 2-1. to one. I could see her as high as 4-1 to one even. She's a big play for me, and in fact, she is my single of that all-stakes pick five. Yeah, I think singling in this race is a good idea. Let's take a look here at the Risen Star and to see what uh, Eddie D thinks about uh, the three-year-old Colts. Absolute fantastic race. I have no idea where the board is going to settle here. I could see Sierra Leone being the favorite, either of Mr. Asmussen's being the favorite. Wherever the money goes, I'm going to try to go in an opposite direction. I know you and I disagreed on this last night. We, ch we chatted over Anash. I think Awesome Ruta is a horse you can maybe play underneath at a big, big price. So with the Risen Star, I'm more interested in the trifecta in a 12-horse field than I am necessarily being right about the winner. Yeah, I think where the money goes in this race is going to be very interesting to pay attention to. All right, thanks for bringing that to us. And the Super Screener, tell us about what, uh, what they can find up on a Horse Racing Nation. Yeah, these are... Uh, uh, this is our picks product every weekend. Uh, Mike Shuddy does a great job looking at stakes coast to coast. And you know he's got fairgrounds covered on that big Risen Star stake. So head to picks.horseracingnation.com. And every weekend, Super Screen will set you up with some great insight on the biggest races. Awesome. Yeah, I, I look at that. And they, uh, the work is done for you when you get that in front of you. So if you uh, 